to this week's Retro Tech 100 Facebook pages 20 PRK Challenge this week it's my choice and I've been playing Terminator 2 the arcade game on various home conversions lately I've been playing it uh, because I've been setting up MUVR the emulator for virtual reality headsets that basically sits you and transports you into a room from the 1990s with various TVs, various systems that you can actually plug in cartridges in VR and play. So I've been playing TT the arcade game to try and get my light gun and my Super Scope 6 running through VR on it, um, which is very, very fun. And and the game's been a lot of laughs, so I figured why not for my week's turn on the Retro Tech Challenge to play TT the arcade game. However, I am the future. while Arnie might be the future, the game is as hard as nails, and I completely forgot how much more difficult the arcade version was over the home versions. Excellent. So this video isn't going to last long, and um, the best I've done in practice is the start of level 2. I've got two credits to get as far through the game as I possibly can. I've had a bit of practice, but I am only allowed one recorded run. So this is that recorded run, and um, no matter how I do, whether it's better or worse, then, um, well... I just have to live with it. So, Terminator 2 was an arcade classic back in the day. I remember at my local arcade when I was a kid, there used to be queues to play this game because the arcade cabinet was awesome and it had these machine guns on the front of it. You, it was great in one player, it was great in two player, it was great in single player using both guns and I spent an absolute bloody fortune on them because I'm a huge fan of Terminator. I'm a huge fan of the genre, and I'm a huge fan of the graphic style of this game. Part of it's hand-drawn, part of it's digitized sprites. It just looked the business. And uh, yeah, I got it later on on the Commodore Amiga. My friend had it for Christmas, and we played it an awful, awful lot on the Commodore Amiga back in the day. And then, what did I get next? I got it on the Super Nintendo next. Uh, for the Super Scope 6, then I got it on the Mega Drive, and then I got it on the Game Boy, and then the Master System and Game Gear. So yeah, I got it on all formats because I was such a big fan. Anyhow, I'm talking too much. Let's skidoodle over to the game. It's Judgment Day. It's Judgment Day. Way to go. And at first, Judgment Day seems fairly pedestrian. You see a couple of exoskeletons coming out of the rubble. Doesn't seem like it's going to be that much of a big deal. The looks can be deceiving. So, my plan is to focus on the left hand side of the screen because most of these games in this genre of game. Um, split the screen into two sides, one for one player and one for the other player. So, most of these games, while the odds seem insurmountable in single player, you only seem to get damage from the enemies on the left if you're player one, and enemies on the right if you're player two. So, with that in mind, I'm going to focus on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to try and reload my gun by getting power-ups as often as I possibly can. And I'm going to try real hard, but not too, too hard, to not kill humans. Killing humans doesn't really hurt your health that much, but it does detract from your point score at the end of the level, if you can make it to the end of the level. I'm going to take out the heavy artillery. The flying heavy artillery first, and then the ground. Although you could argue that the Terminators themselves are heavy artillery, because, well, let's face it, they're massive machines of destruction. I'm 
out of bombs, that's never good. So I've got to hit these weapon crates to get more. That would buy me some time, the smart bomb. Whenever a Terminator comes up close like that, I'm going to focus on the head because if you're lucky, sometimes a chip can fly out and those chips give you power-ups. Full-on concentration mode at this point. I'm looking for any exos that come my way. Turn them into scrap metal. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, my energy's low on my first credit. I'm gonna die soon. Oh, we've got the Golden Terminators. And again, I am out of ammo for my bombs, and I've lost a credit. So we're on to credit two. A bit earlier than I wanted to, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. On the plus side, I should have plenty of bombs. Take out these guns fairly quick. We'll take out the top and then the mid. And then I'm going to focus on that bottom section there. But right, stopped it in its tracks. But it's not over yet. So here come the golds again. finished. Okay. Now here come the penalties. Oof. 100,000 penalty. Terminator 1. Excellent. Terminator 1. Excellent. Now this level is really super tough. I'm not going to make it past this level. I'll be lucky if I make it past the first section of the first level. the background a lot on this level to get extra bombs and such. Oh, here come the orbs. The orbs are a problem. And 
there we go. That's the end of my run. Hurry up. I didn't really get past the first section <laughs> of the second level. Despite the fact I had a healthy ammo balance, it just wasn't enough. Superior. So there we go, that's my score. 1724850. Level 2. It's not my best run, but it's not far off it. I'm quite happy with that. As I say, it's a great game, but I forgot how brutally difficult it was. Um, it's still a classic. I still hold it near and dear to my heart. I still love the digitized graphics and just the overall feel of the game was just it just captures the movie perfectly i absolutely love this game um and i hope that you enjoyed watching me play it or at least get through the first level sorry i didn't last longer but anyhow as i say i hope you enjoyed it if you want to join into the retro tech 100 facebook pages 20 prk challenge then join retro tech 100 on facebook read the rules Join in for next week, where a new game will be announced, and yeah, try your luck. I hope to see you there. I hope you join in the challenge. It's, it's a good bit of fun. Anyhow, time for me to go. It's 2.20 in the morning, and I'm going to bed, so until the next time, bye for now.